What's going on YouTube? Leafy here. Uh, so we have a new event out in NHL called Winter National. It's something that we have seen before, Hot Winter National. So this is the first time I'm looking at all the event items, all the sets, everything. And I'm gonna go through, walk through everything with you, show you guys all the new content. Uh, so first let's check out the, the banners. Um, and so it says open random daily advent packs to receive either Winter National collectibles or items required for sets. Acquire Winter National collectibles through challenges and use sets to help you acquire jerseys, numbers, and other items needed for 92 overall master item sets. So one thing key, 92 overall, we've only had 91s up to this point, so they bumped it up. We got some Winter National, uh, just regular event players as well. So in addition to the master sets, we didn't have fantasy players. Um, sorry, excuse me, we didn't have event players for the fantasy items, but now we have uh, for this regular Winter National event. And we've also got to claim your free advent calendar pack every 24 hours and randomly draw collectibles, master items, and winter national set required items. Alrighty. So, uh, let's dive in. Let's go take a look at the sets. So here we've got all the winter national sets. Uh, and let me just walk through every single one of these with you guys. So, very first one, winter national week one choice set. We trade in gold collectibles for a choice one of two of week one international items. Okay, so five gold collectibles and uh, you can get a winter national item, which I assume is a one of those event players. And we'll go through all the players uh, in a moment here. Um, next we got winter national week one 91 overall master item choice set. So you trade in gold collectibles for a choice one of four of a 91 overall winter national master item. You can get Line, Voracek, Zuccarello, or Bobrovsky. Um, and that's 12 gold collectibles for, sorry, 11 gold collectibles and a winter national collectible uh, for your chance at one of the four 91 overall winter national master. It's not a chance. You actually just get the option of all four of them. We got a uh, winter national collectibles, 21 of those, it appears, for gold collectible. Uh, I assume these are from the advent calendars, packs, as well as challenges. And then we got Winter National Week 1 Random 91 to 92 Master Item Choice Set. Uh, so you trade in gold collectibles for a choice, one of two, of 91 to 92 overall Winter National Master Item. Line A, Voracek, Zuccarello, or Bobrovsky. So you trade in 14 gold collectibles and a Winter National collectible, and you get a choice of two 91 or 92 overalls and you don't get guaranteed all four of these guys it's it's you know it's 50 percent um whether you which if you're gonna get the one that you want basically so it's only one of two so you could you know get bombrovsky and then you know one of the players that you don't actually want so it's kind of a risk but i assume it's a little bit cheaper than doing one of these sets so let's look at the player sets so to get uh so we've got oh we've got multiple sets here okay so to actually get the line the 92 elite overall master item line a untradeable we need uh 12 gold collectibles and in addition to that both team finland jerseys and the jersey number 29 this is their this is a popular theme that we've been seeing is that they love to find these uh number 29s and uh or sorry the, the jersey numbers and jerseys They're, they've been throwing these into sets a lot so to get the number 29 uh, you don't have to go fish for it anymore in the market and hope that it gets listed Three gold players and a winter national collectible very doable um and for the jerseys five five gold jerseys and a winter national collectible for each of these i assume yeah so five gold jerseys and a winter national collectible will get you uh the jerseys and then the gold players and a winter national collectible for the number 29 and then all that combined with Gold collectibles will get you your 92 master item line and we'll, we'll go through each of these but they should be pretty much the same um, for each of them so for the Voracek you need the two Czech Republic jerseys jersey number 93 plus the gold collectibles um, and to get the Czech Republic jerseys you need four gold logos and a winter national collectible so it's not quite the same because for the other ones you needed gold jerseys uh, these gold players that remains constant uh, let's let's keep going through here. So for Zuccarello, gonna need the team Norway home and away and the jersey number 63 in addition to those gold collectibles. And this is also different. Uh, now we need three silver head coaches and a winter national collectible for the uh, for the jerseys. That's an interesting one. 
Same, still same gold players in a winter national collectible for the jersey number. And finally, there's a master set Bobrovsky, 92 overall. Uh, this should give you home and away for Russia, as well as the jersey number 72, of course. Um, and for these, to get the jerseys, you need four silver logos in a winter national collectible. And uh, I assume so gold players. Yeah, gold players in a winter national collectible for the jersey number 72. So that is what you need to get all of these master set players. I'm um, a little bit different, a little bit of variety in this set if you do need those jerseys or logos. And let's look at the extra stuff here. Um, you can re-roll, let's see, re-roll six gold jerseys for two random international jerseys. If you're looking to have any international jerseys or if you can't do the other sets for some reason. Um, and then we also got international, they, they, it says go international. I, I assume that means gold, I don't, I don't know. Go International, a jersey re-roll, and uh, you can trade in 10 silver jerseys for um, two random international jerseys as well. So uh, six gold jerseys or 10 silver jerseys. So that's what the sets are looking like. Um, some interesting stuff. You know, the one of two choice pack is, is really interesting, a little spooky. Um, it's a little bit cheaper than doing the set that you like want to do, obviously, um, yourself. But I, I really wonder if you're able to get, you know, like a 91 Bobrovsky and a 92 Bobrovsky in this set. That would be really interesting um, because then, you know, that would really be the worst case scenario for doing this Master Item Choice set unless you're a big Bobrovsky fan. But anyway, let's uh, go over to the collection and uh, see what these players actually look like. All right, so here we are in the collection looking at the event items. We got obviously the two different versions of all the Master Set players and then there is 12 uh event players to go along with these guys so let's let's dive right in so first off we got the Bobrovsky the 92 version has distributor spark and heart and soul having both distributor and spark that's pretty big um heart and soul obviously not one of the better team synergies it probably it might arguably the worst one i think um and so that doesn't really help his case too much um you know, obviously the stats look good. He's a high rated goalie. You like to see that. He's not the tallest of goalies, but not small either. Uh, so, you know, it really just depends on if you're willing to put this, the, the coins in for a goalie. Personally, I'm not. I always say goalies don't really matter in this game. It's all about how you play defense. Um, so I, I never recommend going high, high on goalies. Um, but, you know, if you're interested or if you're really appealed by the synergies and you're, you know, super rich in this game or something like that, then maybe I could see the case for it. But, you know, that's always what I say is that, you know, the goalies, they're really just not usually the worth the price to get the high end ones or the master set ones. Uh, okay, let's look at the line. A. So line has got Swarm, Workhorse, Shutdown. <sighs> to be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of these synergies. Um, you know, no speed. That's that's key. Uh, they really want to keep this card pretty balanced, I would think, because if this card had speed, it would be pretty dangerous. This shot is deadly. Uh, 97, 97, 98, 97 on the shots, accuracies, and powers. That is that is deadly. Um, truly, truly insane. Uh, obviously, Line is pretty big guy. Uh, workhorse, you know, that's a good synergy. Swarm, some people have it activated. It's, it's easier to activate than some of the other team sins i i probably put it at third best team sin behind distributor and spark uh that's just my opinion though i know a lot of people do like barrage but you know this card doesn't really need barrage it's got it's got everything in the shots already um but you know it's pretty solid i mean like i said that you know he's a big guy so he's gonna protect the puck well and you know the snipes are gonna be all day i assume with the new one timers his shot is just gonna be an absolute laser in and out you barely even see it when you get those good one timer chances uh shut down not really my favorite synergy it, it doesn't really do a whole lot because i mean personally stop shot accuracy and puck control those are like the two better ones um or sorry better attributes that this that this synergy boosts and it doesn't even really like help like it doesn't really it, it, the effect isn't that big you know it goes from 97 to 99 96 to 99 you're not really going to notice that kind of difference i don't think um but you know still a really good card uh the synergies are not the best but okay i guess um okay now we're looking at jacob voracek so he's got a balanced workhorse and a wingman I do like Workhorse and Wingman. I mean, if you have both of those active as player synergies, that's a plus six to acceleration. That's kind of a big deal, I think. Um, in addition, you know, balance, wrist shot accuracy, um, 
even endurance too. I mean that those are good. Those are good attributes. Uh, no speed upgrades again. No howitzer distributor, but you know you, you put distributor on this card anyway. Uh, put it at a 92 speed, which is solid. That's pretty good. Um, the re my the biggest thing I'm looking at with this card is this balance. You know, I think at, along with heart and soul, I think balance is also those are the two synergies that I really think are just flat out bad. I, I'm never going to activate those. Um, and so I don't really see the appeal with this item. Um, yeah, I really just, <laughs> the synergies are so important in this game, right? And, you know, we, we build our teams and so many of us have teams where every single player on there is contributing to synergies in some way. Most of them team, uh, and then some of them player, just player synergies. Uh, so, you know, what I'm looking at with this card is I see Jacob Voracek and I, you know, I expect, okay, so he's not the biggest player. He is big. Uh, he's not, you know, I, I consider like, like huge to be like six, three, six, four plus. Um, but he is big. He, you know, he does have size. He's not going to get knocked over easy. When I think about this card, I always, I'm always going to think about, you know, is his shot where it needs to be? And I don't really see it. Uh, you know, if I'm looking at this line A and I see that shot with like very similar skating stats, and then I look at this shot, he's got the power, but the accuracies are so much lower. I just don't see how that's worth it. Um, and, and why, you know, why you would go for this card over the line A, really. Uh, moving on to the Zuccarello. So Zuccarello's got Barrage, Passing Playmaker, and Gladiator. Um, so a lot of people love Barrage. I, like I said, I, I put it as pretty good. Uh, it's probably third or fourth best. I still think Distributor is number one. Sparks number two, because I really think speed and acceleration are just so important in this game. Um, but beyond that, uh, I, I, you know, Barrage is really good, and, you know, people love their DD one timers, and obviously this makes this guy's slap shot really, really, really good. Um, passing Playmaker, not my favorite synergy at all. I don't really think it's particularly that great. Uh, Gladiator, also not a huge fan, especially on a player that's 5'8", you're not really going to see the, the the difference in strength or body checking, I don't think. I mean, he's 5'8", he's probably going to get knocked over easy no matter what. Um, and, you know, defensive awareness, again, it's a winger, so, you know, how, uh, how often is that really going to come into play? Um, and for a player that already has sh slap shot power, especially if you have Barrage activated, it's not really helping him out too much there. I think the synergies on this card are very much lacking. Uh, obviously, if you do like Barrage, it's not bad, but, you know, he is fast. That's the one thing he's got on, and it has to be that way because he's 5'8", 179, doesn't have a lot of size. So it's got to be a speed advantage on the other guys. Um, I do think this card is good. I do. Uh, with Distributor activated, he's going to have 96 speed. Uh, along with a shot that is really, really good for right now. Um, it's not quite as good as Line A's, but again, he is four speed. They excel faster than Line A, which you're going to notice that difference, especially because of the size. When they're smaller, a 93 speed on a small guy is going to feel faster than a 93 speed on somebody that's 6'5", right? So um, I do like the card. Uh, I, I think that by far the Line A is the best card here. Um, and I, I don't think there's much of an argument in my opinion, um, but I do think the Zuccarello is good. For me, like I said, I don't see any reason to build this Voracek over the line A. I really don't. Um, and the Borowski, you know, it, it's a goalie. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, now we can look at the, the event players, the non-master sets, um, and just go through each of these. So we got the Bomeister, um, Swarm to shut down. Uh, you know, I, I talk a lot about shutdown in these videos. I'm not, just not a big fan. Swarm's okay. You know, I like the agility boost and the hand eye boost. Uh, defense board and stick checking. I mean, they're all good stats. They're they're not not, not the best, but they're all good. Uh, so you know, he's six four two a six. He's a big guy. Um, Ninety speed with distributor helps it helps you know him keep up with that speed in this game. Um, you know, the acceleration's pretty low though. The acceleration's pretty low, and you don't really have any way to boost that unless you have spark activated. So. Um, I think this card's decent though. It's a decent card. Uh, Drysidal with Distributor activated and Wingman. This is a really interesting card uh, because you know I I I have I'm not really a big fan of Drysidal um, personally just because of his skating stats. Really, uh, it, you know it's been really low. His base card has like 82s, 83s, um, and it, you know it's hard to boost that. And they gave him Wingman to give him that acceleration boost, uh, and then obviously Distributor makes him a little bit more valuable. Uh, you know, because he has that and because it's so important. 
uh, in addition to the, the wrist shot accuracy. So all in all, I think this card is not the best, but it's pretty solid. All right, next we got this Pasternak that's got Barrage and Thief. Uh, I, my, at first glance, I hate that this card has Thief because it's a winger, and I, I just, I don't really understand why we give wingers uh, face-off synergies. That's just not really something that I, I don't know, I don't, I don't get that at all. Um, and the stick checking, like, you know, not a center, not a defenseman, so it's not, like, it's not that it's unimportant, but it's obviously less important, I think. The face-offs are obviously a big deal, a part of that. It's half the synergy, too, so I don't really understand why. Um, but anyways, uh, so the card has Barrage. Like I said, if you're a Barrage fan, it's a pretty good card. Um, you know, he has a good shot. It's not the best, but he does have a good shot. He's very accurate. Uh, it's 92 and 93. He's a pretty accurate um, shot. But you know, 92, 93, that's a pretty good shot. Uh, the powers could be a little bit better, but that's okay. Uh, the, the reason that I say that it's not the best is because you know he doesn't compensate for it at the speed. Um, if you do have a distributor, that is a 90, 91 speed, which is pretty quick. Uh, but you know, I would, I don't know, I kind of, I'm kind of looking for a little bit more in this shot to be honest with you. Uh, but you know, it's a pretty solid card. I would be happy with the pull nonetheless. And we got an Eric Brandstrom with Swarm and Passing Playmaker. Um, so, lefty, 510, 181. Um, you know, this looks pretty good. He's got Swarm. I, I do like Swarm. Uh, I don't like Passing Playmaker, but, you know, that's okay. Not the best shot. You know, this would be a card that would really benefit from having Barrage on your team if you do have it. Um, so I, I like that. Uh, good speed ratings, though, especially for a defenseman. I think this would be a good card, you know, to have not get blown by, especially if you had distributor activated 92 speed, 90 acceleration. That's pretty good for a defenseman. I like that. Uh, we got Nico Keisher with Spark and Workhorse. Honestly, this is the first energy that I, the first card that I've seen of, of these ones so far that I like both synergies. I do like Spark. I do like Workhorse. You know, I've been saying the whole time, uh, acceleration. I like that. Uh, I think it's really important. So I do think Spark is really important. Um, and you know, Workhorse gives you know, more acceleration, balance, endurance. I think those are all good, good attributes. So um, I like this card. Uh, you know, he's got a decent shot and, you know, good skating. I mean, 96 acceleration, that's, you know, that's top notch if you can get all those points in it. So I think this is good. 92 speed if you have the distributor activated. This is a good card. I like this card. Oli Uolevi, um, Balanced and Gladiator. <laughs> so we go from a card where I like the synergies to a card that I don't like the synergies very much at all. Uh, you know, the thing about it is, this is a, this is this gladiator situation is a little bit different because it is on a defenseman who is 63198. So you do you will notice that body checking, strength, defensive awareness boost a little bit more. I think that is definitely more important on a defenseman than a 5'8 winger. So I do like the in in this context, I do like gladiator a lot more than what I said about it before. However, I still don't like balance very much. I think the card's okay. Um, but you know, I with these cards that have one team synergy, the the ones that have the good team synergies, the, so the ones that people actually use, basically not balanced, not heart and soul, those are the ones that are going to have a lot more value. So it's an okay card though. I, I would still, you know, I might use it. Um, not not a good shot though. Uh, you know, very inaccurate. You might miss those DDD one timers, miss the net a lot. Uh, you can't expect every card to be perfect though. And you know, it's decent. He has the size. I, he's just missing that that good team synergy that would really take this over the top for me make it you know over that hump that would make me say that this is a good card um parasunko i don't know if i said that right but he hey he's got howitzer this is the first howitzer card that we've seen so far uh so he's a 511 186 left wing um he's got 99 shot powers if you put in this howitzer that that like, like what I said with the line, A, you take a one-timer with this guy and the shots, you don't even to see it. Um, 92 speed with how it's your distributor activated. Eh, eh. your distributor activated on, on a 5'11 winger, I would expect him to be a little bit faster, to be honest with you. I, I really would. Um, and still only 86 XL. I don't love it. It's okay. And again, it's the same as what I said with the last one, you know, heart and soul. I, I really don't like it all. Uh, so it really doesn't put it over that hump for me to say it's a good card. Uh, Troy Terry. Uh, 
All right, so Troy Terry, he's got balance and he's got speed suit. This is also the first speedster card, so I guess they're being a little bit more stingy with these speed synergies so far that we've seen, because we've only seen one howitzer, one distributor, one speedster now. Uh, so 88 speed with speedster activated, that means he starts off pretty darn slow. Um, you know, 84 shot accuracies and only 84 speed, 83 excel. It's okay. Again, doesn't have a good, doesn't have, doesn't have a great team synergy. So I'm really just not that interested in this card. as like more of a depth forward at this point. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see it. Uh, Christers. Oh my God, Gulevskis. I think I did that right. Uh, it's a goalie. So that, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. It's a goalie. He's six four. That's that's pretty big. Um, he's got spark, but he also has heart and soul. If that if that second synergy was distributor, if it was swarm, if it was barrage, I would feel much better about this goalie. But the fact that he has heart and soul makes me care about it a lot less. Uh, Johan Avitu. Avitu. He's got Howitzer Swarm. I like that combination. That's probably the one of the best combinations we've seen so far. Uh, so he's only got 83 speed though. Um, he's a lefty that's 5'11", doesn't have good shot accuracies. I mean, listen, I can't look for such high ratings at this point because, I mean, I'm looking at an 84 overall, right? Um, but he does have good synergies. So for more of a low end team, this would not be a bad plug in play at all. Uh, especially for like a bottom six. Um, he's okay. He's okay. If you have distributor activated 89 speed, I would like a little bit higher speed for a 5'11 player, but hey, I guess that's what you get. Um, so, you know, it's not, it's not bad for a depth forward on a, on a lower end team. And I mean, he's from France, so respect to that. I, I like that a lot. <laughs> Yu Sato. I have no idea if I said that right either. Distributor Magician, 84 overall. Um, so he's 5'9", 162, that's a small man. Uh, 91 speed with distributor activated, 85 Excel, I wish Excel was a little bit higher. Um, 97 wrist shot power, 98 slap shot power. For an 84 overall, that's pretty damn good. Um, not what, <laughs> not what I would expect when looking at this card. I mean, this guy's got 91s, this guy, oh my gosh, the slap the powers are crazy. Um, and he's from Japan. I mean, I, I like the I like that they've thrown in a little bit of these, you know, I guess non-traditional countries, would you say? Like, you know, you don't often see uh, high-end hockey players from Japan. So, um, you know, it's pretty cool that, they, that they've thrown some of these other you know, countries in here. I mean, we had a Latvia. Um, there have been, you know, some, high, some more higher profile players from Latvia, but, you know, France, Japan, that's cool. I like it. Um, so he's got distributor. So, you know, this is distributor automatically makes it a decent fill-in card for any team uh especially on your fourth line if you're still hurting for those points um but the, the, the shot powers actually make this kind of viable so i don't hate it uh you know very small though uh definitely gonna get knocked off the easy so you know a, a decent depth forward at the very least mads shogard uh so this one's got barrage swarm so that's you know that's not bad at all especially if you're you know got a really high-end team you're looking for uh, somebody in your backup goalie to put in with, with these specific synergies to help fill them out. Obviously, normally you would go for a bronze goalie because they have three. Um, but if you can come across one of those bronze goalies, this wouldn't, one, wouldn't be a terrible one to put in your backup spot if you're going for garage and swarm. And that's everything. So uh, let's go take a look at the challenges. All right. So the banner for the challenges says complete challenges for winter national collectible views and sets. So... It appears that there is not a, uh, a free gold collectible to get out of this one. Uh, looks like there are 21 challenges where you play different international teams and the final reward, which here I can move, I can get rid of my camera for a second here. Um, you can see there in the bottom right, uh, thir three star rewards for each of these is a winter national collectible there are some december collectibles as well mixed in at the two star rewards and the last two give you a base pack a premium pack a prime pack and a players pack in addition to those winter national collectibles so that is what we've got for the challenges today so that's everything we've got for the winter national event uh, this event runs for the next three weeks in nhl 21 so it will be around for quite a while 
um but yeah uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you think you'll be making any of the players if you agree or disagree with any of the takes that you know i offered to you today let me know you know i'm, I'm it, it's totally cool if you disagree with me i'm just here to you know present the information in a nice digestible video so that you don't have to go sift through all this yourself um but yeah thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and i will catch you guys in the next video